Hi. <laughs> you look fantastic. Thank you very much. My name is Melissa Diaz, and I'm from Pennsylvania. Uh, the star I'll be pitching to you today is Death Screen Reflections. And Death Screen Reflections centers around two main characters who live in parallel worlds, and who are both trying to escape from their problems. You have the first character, Lolita, who's a human from this reality, and a character named Risto, who's a fox spirit from KF, a world of the supernatural live. Now, through her profession as a detective, Lolita acquires pieces of a mysterious game, a game which controls the social order of KF. Now, as she acquires these pieces, and throughout her journeys, she comes across Risto and they cross paths, but not always at the same time. And when they finally meet, they're going to have to come to terms with their problems, as well as try to find a way to save Kea from clashing with this reality. Now, when you say sometimes not at the same time, is mm -hmm. that because of, is that time literally because of reality, or is it time because they just miss each other? Because they come at different times. Okay. Uh, for example, in the first case file, Lolita finds a game piece in an apartment. In the second case file, you find that Risto had already visited that apartment and was digging around and happened to dig that up. Cool. So you go back and forth between the two worlds. Yes. Tell us a little bit about how you, how you did this artwork. It's fascinating. Um, first, I sketched it out. And I love to work with patterns. Um, if I get a chance to, I'll work with origami paper. Uh, so I scanned everything into the computer. And through Photoshop, I collaged everything and layered it to make it look like that. Does this take place now, like in our, in? Um, roughly now, a little in the future, but it's not futuristic. So what's up with the patch? <laughs> the patch, Lolita is a semi-immortal, and in this world, immortals lose their color sense eventually. So since her body is still changing, uh, in a hopeless attempt of regaining her color sight, she goes to the doctor, and the only thing that they can suggest is covering her good eye. Cool. So another question for you, in terms of an ongoing comic, mm -hmm. I, which, which kind of art would be the ongoing? What are your thoughts on that? I'm glad you asked that. Um, anything that takes place in a row, which is what the KFians call this reality, is photographic. Okay. And then anything that takes place in KF is hand-drawn. That's terrific. That's the initial concept of it. How long does it typically take you to do these kinds of pages? Um, the photographic page, I had taken the images through a course of time. Um, I about had a day to stick it all together. The hand-drawn one, unfortunately, I started it and stopped it. I'd Wait, say, here's what I'm trying to get at. Okay. Uh, we're looking for comic runners who, in addition to a great story, can make sure that the comic keeps mm -hmm. continuing. How many pages like this can you do in a month? In a month? A fair amount. Like a with typical 22 page? Work. Yeah, with the drawn, no problem. The photographic, it would be a little harder because I make all the costumes <laughs> and do all the set work. It's like a mini movie or TV series, okay. so it's, it's big production if you don't have any money. This looks terrific to me. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And, thank you. and great package great the way work. you present. Yeah. Thank you.